Welcome to Fleet Maintenance Pro, the fleet management software that puts you in full control of your vehicles, equipment, and stationary assets. This control includes the ability to decide which users can access or change which information in the program. With the optional security module add-on, you can define user profiles and set individual permissions to menu items and toolbar buttons. You can restrict or allow the ability to add, edit, or delete on most screens. If your equipment is categorized by location, you can also restrict users to viewing equipment data from certain locations. You can create as many users as you like and create common security profiles to make your security settings easier to manage. When Fleet Maintenance Pro starts, the user must enter his or her login name and password in order to use the program. To set up your security profiles, go to the Security menu and select User Administration. The first tab will display your complete user list, but before adding a user, you will first need to set up a new profile on the Profile Restrictions tab. A profile can be used like a template and applied to a group of users. For this example, I will create a profile for a driver employee whose only option will be to view equipment information, record fuel transactions, update the odometer, and request repairs. I do not want this employee to have access to certain information such as billing, parts inventory, employees, or vendors. Click Add and type a name for the profile. In the Profile Components section, the drop-down menu next to Screen shows all of the available views which can be controlled. Then Menu Items lists the individual options. For example, you can choose the entire billing drop-down menu or the individual billing menu items. Your access options are Disabled and Hidden. If you choose Disabled, the item is grayed out, and although the user can see the item, they cannot select it. The hidden option hides the component entirely. After selecting the item and access, click the Save button to add to your list of profile restrictions. Continue through the list to hide or disable as needed, omitting those options which you wish to allow, such as the Meter button. Now that you have established a profile, you are ready to add a user and assign the profile to that user. Click on the Users tab and the Add User button. Enter the login, password, first and last names. Choose the profile which you just created and set any limitations on the warehouse or locations you wish this user to be able to access. Don't forget to click Save after creating the user. To give you added control, you can go to the User Exceptions tab and add any entries for a specific user whom you wish to have additional access or blocks outside the standard profile. The layout is exactly the same as the Profile Restrictions tab with the components and actions available. Choose the Profile from the drop-down menu and the User from the list. The best way to test out your security configuration is through trial and error. Close the program and then log in as your newly created user. As you can see, my menu options and buttons are limited. As intended, this driver can only schedule a repair, record fuel, or update the meter. As the program administrator, you may wish to review the login history or check the security log to determine which user performed a specific action. Log back in with your own credentials. Click Security and User Administration and then the Login History tab. This shows not just your history, but also which sessions are still active. These entries will have a blank logout date and time. Click the Security Log tab in order to track down the date and time of a specific action, who performed the task, and from which computer. For more information and articles, visit the Knowledge Base at mtcpro.com.